going to show you how to install a ROS. Uh, ROS stands for Remote Onboard Starting System on a Traxxas, on a Traxxas Revo 3.3 using the Spectrum DX 4S. What I have here, I have my old transmitter um, DX 3S. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the transmitter and now I'm going to install the DX 4S. Uh, 4S stands for 4 channels. So I'm just going to put that there for the time being. Now here we go. Now I'm going to go through this. So this gets very confusing for a lot of people. Okay, so here is my instalment of the uh, receiver uh, or channel. Let's go down a little bit closer. The model is uh, SR410. That's your four channel receiver. This is on a, uh, a Revo uh, 3.3. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to install the ROS onboard starting system. That way uh, we can start it by the remote. But at the moment, let's go back to the front here. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove the batteries from the bottom. That's your standard batteries. I'll chuck that out of the road. And now we are going to replace the batteries with this. Let's go in a little bit closer. Look, I can go a little bit out of focus. That's a 7.4 uh, 7 voltage. Um, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put a description up at the end of the uh, this video of what to read, what you will need for the onboard starting system to find the ROS. Um, but that's the battery there. Um, I'll put that to the side. For the time being, and now the ROS system. Now this gets very confusing. Right, I'll move that out of the road. All right, now the ROS system here is your leads to your uh, start motor and your glow plug, and here is your power cords, and here is your another lead there, and this lead here goes up to your receiver. Now I've put mine in channel 4 position. Sorry, channel 2 position. Um, but let's, let's go back and we'll look at the uh, the receiver first because this gets confusing. Uh, you got your binding plug which I have the power lead in. The next position is the steering arm which I'm using a Y section that allows me to use my two receivers on the front of the vehicle up the steering. Uh, one on each side, left and right. So there's two servos there. And then you've got your, your throttle and then your your uh, gearbox for your reverse gears. Uh, I'm still using the original switch, uh, the original Traxxas uh, sensor just up here. Um, once you plug that all in, um, now the ROS system. Uh, on the ROS system, the power goes into your receiver, so you've got your channel by the signal, your main cable, and your power cable. Now what I've actually done with my main power cable, I've actually cut, cut it and add a negative wire that way it can go straight up to the switch. Now I'll just plug that in here. Uh, it's a bit difficult with one hand. Um, like so. Um, try and get that in by one hand. Okay, so we've got the power to the switch. Here's your battery. We'll plug the battery in. As soon as we plug the battery in, 
and go power up to the switch. this wire here, this is the, the wire that goes up into the middle, that middle wire, so we're going to leave that there for the time being, um, and then we'll get the main cable and we're going to move it up to the start mode and we'll plug that in and we will plug it in. Um, what I've actually done, I've actually bought a new lead off the, the Lewis model, um, C10. Um, so what I've actually had to do, well, I've had to cut the, the blue wire and rejoin it and still use the original one on top of the glow plug because it's a different size. Now what I've actually done, I've removed the glow plug from the, the head and just put it temporarily so you can see the glow plug to glow up. So now that we've done that, we're still using the original switch. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to power it all up, and we'll give it a test run. Uh, we'll turn on the transmitter. Uh, that is your ZX4S. We'll bring that over here. I need to put that up on the truck for the time being. Um, now we'll turn on the switch. On. As you can see, we we'll zoom down a little bit. Got the indicator of the sensor on, green, and we also have the function on green as well. Um, the blue light of the uh, sensor will stop in a minute. I'll stop moving the vehicle. Right. Now, I'll go back a little bit. Go. Now this is going to get tricky for you guys. On the front of the remote here, let's have a look. And here is my reverse gear. Now the moment I change, I'm in reverse gear. And there we go. We're in forward motion and back motion. And we'll go close to the vehicle. Let's have a look. See the arms moving. your reverse and forward gear. So we're using this channel here. We'll turn the, the receiver around. And now what we're going to do, we're going to start the vehicle up by pushing the button here on the end. And the vehicle should start up. So let's have a close look and we'll see what we're talking about. If I can put that here. And we'll, we'll see the glow plug glow up right near the uh, cylinder. That's the glow plug there. That will glow up when I push the button. And there we go. That is your four channel. I'm using a ROS system on board starter. Um, all we have to do is put everything into the box and clean it all up, pack it all away and then we can take it out, put some fuel in it and then we can start it up. Uh, now the battery here will go underneath perfectly, underneath your, where your old battery sits. Uh, there might be some little rubbers on the edge inside, you can pull them out, um, to make a little bit more room and if you want to, remove this uh, uh, middle plate. Um, if you want to, just cut it out, use a hacksaw, Stanley knife, whatever you please. I'm just going to leave it in there. And there we are. Um, as you can see, that I was just starting the vehicle up, it still had one lead unplugged. That is off your loss system that goes to the power. Now, I'm not going to use this because for some reason when I plug the power into it, the electrical current has been crossed over, it's 
some reason the red wire becomes a negative and the black wire becomes a positive. So when I plug it into the power, the wires are getting very hot. So for some reason I'm just going to disconnect it. And if you want to, you can cut the wire off. If you want to, but I'm just going to cut it off later on. Um, the ROS system is nice and cold. There's no heat in it. And here we go. So I've been using the original switch. Um, I've just put a connector on here and add a little bit of wire to the main ca power cable, which now goes up to your switch. I'll switch it off. And there we go. And then the power goes down into your receiver. Um, Thanks for watching and we'll look at part two um, very soon after, but I might quickly go through the settings on the DX for rest of how I've got my settings on the uh, onboard system of the transmitter. Um, hopefully you might be able to see clearly. model, let's go into reverse, as you can see all settings are, are still on the right, that's in your, your reverse model, go down the travel, uh, I've got all 100s, go to the next one, uh, that, that's your expo mode, they are still at 0%. Uh, we'll skip that one, that's your binding. Go to subtree. They are all zeros. Uh, timing, ignore that. Um, switch. Alright, A is for brakes, uh, B is for throttle, C is for your uh, steering, D. your auxiliary, uh, auxiliary position number one, I'll bring the light back up again, um, and I'm using uh, 3P, uh, E is the timing, F, let's go down to F, um, auxiliary uh, AX2, 2P, that's what I'm using, go back up and then we'll go back. Now let's go down to mix. Everything is normal. Um, a and B. Uh, survey speed. Now everything's at 100% still. Uh, let's go into here. Uh, trim step. Now they're all on 4. ABS. Well, that's at zero percent. Let's go down a little bit more. Model reset. We'll skip that one. Skip monitoring. Go into system, and that is the uh, other settings. Let's go out of there, and there you go. your DX 4S uh, transmitter spectrum with a ROS system on board starting system and still using your, your Traxxas sensor and your main switch of the Traxxas. There you go, now you have a, an on board starting system. So thanks for watching and I will put this vehicle back together and let's have a look at part two when the vehicle has been put together and put some fuel in and we'll start her up. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you to it. Okay, 
so now we've got the, uh, uh, the ROS system and all that packed in to the uh, receiver box and we've got the uh, fuel tank filled up now and we've got the glow plug put in so we're ready to start her up so we just move the uh, switch over and turn it back on by the main switch and we've got the uh, transmitter we'll turn that on Uh, just check to see if the uh, steering works. Right, it works. Alright, time to start her up. And we'll push the button at the back here. And there we go. There we go, we'll uh, be able to do it with one end, switch it over. And there we go. Got the uh, Ross system with the uh, Spectrum DX uh, 4S on the, uh, the Ross uh, Ross onboard starter on the uh, Traxxas Revo 3.3. Thanks for watching, and I'll leave you to it.